Welcome back to the Vita Boys, you PlayStation gamers. First off, I'd like to say I missed you guys over the holidays, and I'd like to apologize for the audio quality in the last video. It won't happen again, and you know why? Because it's 2017, we all know that nobody in the history of New Year's resolutions has ever failed at keeping their word. Okay, maybe I'm feeling a little too confident about this year so far, but I really hope it turns out to be a great year for the Vita. So to start off on a good note, let's take a look back at the absolute best PS Vita game of 2016. Before we get started, make sure to enter our giveaway of two Oddworld game codes for the PS Vita and four $20 PlayStation Network cards. Just subscribe and leave a comment below to be entered. For extra entries, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment over on my channel Bitbyte as well, which will be linked in the description below. Winners will be announced February 5th on Twitter. Once again, just subscribe and leave a comment below to be entered. There's a ton of amazing games for the PS Vita, but only three games from last year really stood out from the rest to us. Keep in mind, we're only talking about our top three from the year of 2016, nothing that came out after or before. So before we tell you who the winner is of the three titles, let's talk about why these games were chosen and go into a bit of detail with each game in no particular order. Starting off our list, we have Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. In our opinion, this game is absolutely fantastic when it comes to gameplay, sheer graphical style, and quality. It unfortunately suffers from some tedious storytelling sections and doesn't take the time to immerse the player the way that it really could have, but no game can be perfect. Sword Art Online has always been an intriguing show to watch watch as Kirito becomes sucked into a game world where he must fight to survive. The reason I love this game so much is because of how much I've watched the show and so it feels like an extension of the world I'm watching. Hollow Realization also just feels very at home on the Vita. We initially never expected to see something this fun and time consuming all those years ago when the handheld was trying to get itself off the ground. It's definitely a strong title that deserves to be recognized alongside other game entries in the series. Speaking of games we never really expected to happen, next up on our list is a game that really popped up out of nowhere, but left Vita owners with something fantastic to sink a ton of hours into. You start off the game as an amateur hacker, which then encounters a strange person in a chat room that gives you something called a Digimon capture, giving you the ability to capture Digimon in a crazy new cyberspace world called Eden. As your journey begins, you become recruited as a detective in the Kuremi Detective Agency by a woman named Kyoko Kuremi. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is an incredible game and one that should be truly commended for its attention to detail and focus on combat. Now it's not all sunshine and rainbows, as some players have complained about the storyline being filled with too many cliches and a lot of people have noticed certain balancing issues, but if you can get past some of those minor things, you'll have fun fending off encounters with data-based entities called Eaters, which will only become more challenging as time moves on. The last game we'll be talking about today is Dragon Quest Builders. I know that a lot of people went out and bought a Vita just to get back into Minecraft, and so if you're someone who loves games, about creating, then Dragon Quest Builders is an absolute must play. When the Dragon Quest world of Alephgard is plunged into darkness by the Dragon Lord, it's up to you to save what's left of your world by bringing back the power of creation and rebuilding Alephgard. If you're familiar with previous Dragon Quest games, then you'll feel absolutely right at home. The only real thing that I could say about this game focused heavily on exploration is that while it's fun for a while, it does seem to get a bit repetitious. Even the best games feel this way though sometimes, so it's not really something to worry about, just know that when you pick up this game, while you'll be able to easily sink in days upon days of gameplay, you will every so often feel fatigued, which only means it's time for a break. Other than that, Dragon Quest has a fantastic new entry to the series, and one that fits perfectly on your favorite handheld. All these games are amazing, and if you were to pick up any one of them, you'd have a great time, but there can only be one winner, and so in our opinion, the best game for the PS Vita in the year of 2016 is... Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. It was a tough call, but we had to choose this game because of its overall focus on gameplay mechanics and beautiful art style. While the game isn't the best title that's ever existed on the PS Vita, it's definitely the best of 2016, at least in our opinion. Well, that has been our best PS Vita game of 2016. What game is the best is a completely opinionated thing, and so even if the games we love didn't match up with your own, we'd still like to hear what games you thought should have made the cut. But anyways, you guys, if you have any questions, make sure to message us in the comment section down below and follow us on Twitter at the Vita Boys and at Vita Boy underscore Bitbyte to stay up to date with the channel. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and until next time, Vita Boys out.